If brightening and hydration are what you are looking for, Skin 104 offers two lines that promise to deliver. The Madagascar Centella Tone Brightening one and the Madagascar Centella Hyalusica one. So, which one is actually better for you? Let's take a look at the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Tone Brightening Capsule App Pool, the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Tone Brightening Capsule Cream, the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Hyalusico Blue Serum, and the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Hyalusica Sleeping Pack to figure out which one you'll need. And if you have tried either of the products yourself, please share your experiences in the comments below. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. The Tone Brightening Capsule Ampoule claims to be fast absorbing and provide bright and clear skin. The first thing you'll notice if you look at the bottle are the tiny white specks, the capsules, which contain encapsulated Madagascar seed, one of the active components of Centella Asiatica. They swim in a clear liquid that, once out of the bottle, is of a thinner gel texture and has no noticeable scent. Despite the gelish texture, the ampoule spreads easily and with minimal tackiness, and yes, you can feel the capsules upon application, but they disappear immediately afterwards. The product can be used morning and night and has minimal tackiness. I used it in the mornings due to the ingredients it contains. Some of them have irritating potential and I use my tretinoin at night and didn't want to risk problems, but have to say that I personally did not experience any issues. Looking at the ingredients, you have Centella Asiatica extract at 77%, so as first ingredient instead of water, this is something you'll find for most Skin 104 Centella products, as well as the Madagascar seed I mentioned earlier, packed in little capsules. This is supposed to be soothing and promote wound healing. If you want in-depth information about the individual ingredients, I have a playlist with videos that I will link up here. I can't pack all of that in one video. For brightening, you will find niacinamide according to the website at 4%, which is close to the recommended 5%. Then tranexamic acid at 2%, which is what you usually get in skincare. And then 3-O-etyl ascorbic acid, which is a vitamin C derivative that is more stable than the original ascorbic acid. Out of these three, tranexamic acid has a slight risk of irritation and is the reason why I put it in my morning routine. Then you will have glycerin for hydration, panthenol for extra soothing, and lactobacillus ferment, again with several potential skincare benefits I address in a separate video. Overall, I was really impressed with the product as it contains way more active ingredients than I would have expected and fits great in my morning routine. The Tone Brightening Capsule Cream claims to soothe and brighten and to be suitable for sensitive skin. It is a white lightweight cream, almost a gel, which also has the tiny capsules you can feel at the beginning, but that disappear quickly. The product itself has no noticeable scent. Suitable for both morning and nighttime use, I put it in my evening routine on my tretinoin off nights. I use it every other night, simply because I usually don't wear a cream underneath my sunscreen in the warmer months. Again, I could probably have used it alongside my tretinoin, as it wasn't at all irritating, but I prefer to err on the side of caution here. You don't meet much, it spreads easily, and while it isn't tacky, it can be felt on the skin for a little while as a layer of hydration. Centella Asiatica extract is the first ingredient with 60% and directly followed by water, and Madikasa seed is what is in the capsules. Similar to the Impool from the same line, there is niacinamide and tranexamic acid for brightening, but sadly I couldn't find any percentages here. I assume a similar concentration is used, 4% for niacinamide and 2% for tranexamic acid, but that is just speculation. There's also panthenol and lactobacillus ferment, but no vitamin C derivative. Instead, there is bisapolol for extra soothing. As humectants, you will find glycerin and hyaluronic acid, and then shea butter and squalane to seal everything in. I really enjoy this cream for some extra brightening in my evening routine, but if your skin is more on the normal to dry side, it will be a great addition for your morning routine as well. Missing from the Tone Brightening line, Tone Brightening Cleansing Foam that contains niacinamide, 3-O-etyl ascorbic acid and panthenol alongside the Centella, and the Tone Brightening Boosting Toner, again with niacinamide, 3-O-etyl ascorbic acid and panthenol as well as Centella Asiatica extract. The Tone Brightening Tone-Up Sunscreen will get a separate review with all the other Skin 104 sunscreens soon. There are quite a few. 
out of all these products, the Ampoule and the Capsule Cream do stand out to me the most due to the tranexamic acid. The Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Hyalusica Blue Serum claims to soothe, brighten and highly hydrate the skin. Just like the bottle, the serum has a light blue hue to it and a faint floral scent. Scent isn't my favorite, but doesn't linger on the skin. Texture-wise, it is thicker than your average serum with a slight gelishness. Two pumps is enough for face and neck. The product itself feels very lightweight and spreads with ease, but it has some tackiness that stays for the next few minutes. I never had any issues with pilling though. It can be used morning or night or even twice a day, depending on where you feel it fits your routine best. Skin 104 claims that the whole Hyalusica line has the golden ratio of hyaluronic acid and centella asiatica without stating further what that golden ratio would be so it won't surprise that you find several different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid and centella asiatica extract in the ingredient list alongside various different plant extracts for additional hydration there is pantolactone a polyhydroxy acid you will find panthenol and allantoin for additional soothing and then one ceramide and niacinamide with its variety of skin beneficial effects. Overall, it is a nice hydrating serum, but nothing that gets me overly excited. I wouldn't expect much of a brightening effect. Now, I'm not sure how familiar you are with sleeping packs. They claim to be face masks that are supposed to be left on overnight, as opposed to those rinsed off after a certain amount of time and that offer more intensity than your average night cream. A huge part of it is certainly marketing, and in this case the claims are to calm and vitalize the skin. Compared to other sleeping packs I've tried, the Hyalusica Blue Sleeping Pack had more of a lightweight texture without the occlusive feel I had expected, and has the same faint fluorescent as the serum, but feels less tacky. While sleeping packs are usually used at night, the texture of this one would make it possible to be used during the day as well if your skin is in need of extra hydration. I personally use it at night as it is a little too much for me in the mornings. What would work great as well though, and no this is not my genius idea but a suggestion from their website, is to use it as soothing after sun treatment if you have slightly overdone it. Not that this happens to us, we are all sun smart, but just throwing that out there. Hydration and soothing would be what you need then, and when kept in the fridge, it feels cooling as well. As the name suggests, you'll find different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid for hydration, as well as Centella Asiatica, again according to the brand in the not closer defined golden ratio. This time it's combined with glycerin as additional humectant, and again niacinamide, pentenol, ceramide NP, different polyhydroxy acids and a bunch of plant extracts. To be honest, the formula doesn't differ much from the corresponding serums in terms of active and neither does the one from the other product in the line. I don't have the Hyalusica Brightening Toner, the Hyalusica First Ampoule, the Hyalusica Cloudy Mist and the Hyalusica Moisture Cream. All focus on roughly the same ingredients for hydration and soothing, but with different textures. So I feel that all of that could benefit you as additions in your routine, but not as irreplaceable must-haves. My favorite is still the Hyalusica sunscreen I already reviewed here as part of a sponsorship. If you're looking for hydration and brightening, both the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Hyalusica and Tone Brightening line could be of interest for you. But while the Hyalusica has the focus on hydration with several molecular weights of hyaluronic acid and on soothing with Centella Asiatica, Allantoin and Penthenol, and only offers niacinamide for brightening purposes, the Tone Brightening line has the less common tranexamic acid alongside a vitamin C derivative, Centella and niacinamide. So if brightening is your main concern, it is probably the better choice. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!